Hi, I'm Alberto. Probably most of you already know me because uh, I'm quite used to, to be here at Open Ebola Conference. Um, just uh, as an introduction, I'm uh, an old school sysadmin. Uh, I came from an experience in Italy where uh, I work uh, especially in uh, mostly in uh, uh, cloud providers and uh, internet service provider environments. Uh, we move, I moved uh, in the UK three years ago and uh, I joined Colossus two years ago, which is a, a totally different experience for me. It's a gambling company, so something that uh, is totally out of my, uh, my comfort zone. And uh, uh, where I, I, I'm doing the uh, sysadmin and DevOps uh, things inside the, inside the company. Colossus, as a gambling company, is regulated by the UK Gambling Commission, which is uh, one of the most uh, uh, strong regulation in the world about gambling. And uh, uh, one of the things, one of the, a lot, there are a lot of things that uh, uh, the Gambling Commission asked to us uh, as a company, uh, mostly are technical things. So I'm uh, uh, happy to work in this kind of company because uh, for a question of regulation, most of the things that uh, are uh, uh, fancy in this moment, like uh, uh, going on everything on cloud, uh, use uh, services, uh, uh, software as a service uh, to do most of the things, can't be, can't be made be because of the regulations. Anyway, uh, we started uh, two years ago when uh, the company, the company infrastructure was based essentially in one data center with a rack server, all made by VMware uh, 6C, the base, uh, in, uh, the base installation without uh, the advanced feature of the commercial licenses. And uh, we found this, uh, uh, this environment uh, too uh, closed to, be, to scale for our uh, needs. In fact, uh, at the beginning, uh, the company has uh, his product, uh, is a, essentially a business to business company, and uh, works uh, with uh, two partners, two big partners, but two partners only. In about two years, uh, the, partner are, uh, the, par the number of partners now is uh, uh, 46. So we need to scale our infrastructure very fast uh, in order to, uh, to meet the requirement of the new partners. So the first th things that uh, we tried to do, even if uh, we can't do for everything, is uh, to go on cloud, on a public cloud system. And uh, was a fucking disaster. <laughs> Nothing else to say. So uh, first thing, uh, the first problem that we had uh, is the cost. We found uh, that uh, we tried uh, to use the cloud at the beginning only for our development environment uh, without production staging, uh, only for dev. And we found that the cost of the public cloud uh, with used rack space uh, was so high that uh, the doesn't make any sense for us. Sorry. The second thing was, uh, the second problem was the technology lock-in. Lock -in. What it means, uh, uh, cloud provider like, uh, uh, like Amazon, just to say, offers uh, some uh, services uh, uh, that uh, help you to uh, create uh, your application without uh, uh, thinking about uh, some uh, side things. But they consider side things uh, something like, uh, for example, the database. The, uh, uh, Amazon offers a service as uh, a relational database. So someone who wants to use the cloud say, okay, I have a grant of over 20K from Amazon to develop my new startup uh, uh, software. I want to use Amazon. I take uh, some VMs uh, to, you, to do it, uh, to host the code. But what, you know, I'm not um, a man of a uh, database, so I use uh, Amazon RDS to host all the data. Okay. Now, at the beginning, everything is cool. After that, 
start to you start to have the problem of cost the grant of 20k start to finish and uh, what happened you want to move out from amazon but you can't do it because your Am your database is inside amazon as it's very very difficult to move out of it this is the second problem that we found was not related exactly with this uh, in our case it was more a, a problem of regulation because the da hosted the database with our, our customer inside a public cloud system is against the rules of gambling commission but doesn't matter so what is important is the technology lock-in lock is a problem of the cloud third is the security which is our real problem with the cloud uh, everything is hosted on someone else's servers okay and so for us uh, is uh, something that is against the rules of the gambling commission what we have to do with uh, our system uh, because it's a gambling system is to host on our servers and have the control of the hard disk this is the most uh, key component uh, of the infrastructure so okay we tried the we tried the cloud the public cloud and we say goodbye thank you was a nice experience happy to meet you in the rack space you have a, you have a very cool office uh, in uh, near a Heathrow airport but you're not uh, something that's uh, good for is good for us so we switch back uh, and now we have an, a complete infrastructure based on open nebula it is hosted in uh, one data center in UK for what is called the key components and uh, in uh, uh, some commodity data center let's say for uh, what is not really important uh, just to say some names uh, uh, we have uh, some server in softlayer some server in ovh some server in hetzner which is uh, quite cheap uh, a quite cheap solution and we, lear we learn some lessons uh, so the first one is uh, one site doesn't fit all so what it means that everything uh, say the cloud is fa fantastic but <coughs> doesn't fit to us someone uh, in another hotel uh, in here in barcelona here in barcelona in this week say the open stack is the future doesn't fit to us okay you have to explain me why you have uh, the open stack conference the open nebula conference and the vmware world uh, to in barcelona together <laughs> <laughs> Second lesson that we learn, use only solid tools. We tried to use something very, very cool that uh, was proposed to us like the future of uh, this kind of thing, and we failed. Okay, so if you don't have, uh, if you don't trust in deep what you want, to, uh, what you are using don't trust it is not uh, something good I mean in infrastructure there are uh, some new tools uh, that pr that uh, say we do everything and we do very nicely very easily to you okay fine after that when you start to using it you find hey, yeah but I need also this feature and uh, no sorry it's not possible but now you are locked in on this on that product we made uh, this error and we had to roll back uh, to our previous uh, uh, solid components. Don't trust uh, anyone, even yourself. It's a rule of life uh, for me, but it's a rule of life also in, uh, uh, in this job. As I said, uh, there are a lot uh, of uh, commercial companies that propose you uh, some nice tools uh, and uh, uh, it's easy to say okay let's go with it because uh, it's very very strong it's very robust and so on the last uh, error that we made in this case uh, was uh, using only the DNS for our DNS servers and Saturday even on Friday there is a little disaster so also in this case uh, don't trust uh, uh, don't trust only one company it's always listen multiple uh, multiple source of option and the last one is uh, 
you have to scale. If, you, if your company uh, growth, the system has to grow with it. So from the beginning, when you start planning your infrastructure, think that this infrastructure has to scale with you. Don't, if, uh, when you, when, if you want to develop, if you want to adopt one component, the first thing that you have to ask to you is, this component can scale inside this infrastructure, can scale out on other infrastructure, I can, can I use this component to do uh, cloud burstering, for example, uh, because our current infrastructure is not, uh, uh, is not enough to support it. So every, uh, everywhere, when you have to make a decision, to take this thing in consideration, because it's really, really important. Nothing else. Thank you.